back with another video. Uh, so I just wanted to show you guys this clip of Jagmeet Singh just getting absolutely grilled today by the media. You gotta love to see it because you know there's a lot of uh, questions for these for you know, Jagmeet Singh and you know his party and Justin Trudeau and the Liberal Party. We're not getting many answers, but I'm definitely glad we're starting to uh, see the media ask these tough questions. So let's just have a look, and then we'll go from there. Entities that are involved, wittingly or unwittingly, are they traitors to Canada? Uh, what they're doing is unethical. Uh, it is, in some cases, against the law, and it is indeed uh, uh, they are indeed traitors to the country. Why are you comfortable? Are you comfortable sitting in the house? Within the report, Let's give you the next one. Um, that are criminal in nature. Why do you say that? Well, this was the conclusion of the Anzacop report that's publicly available as well. Uh, it was just confirmed upon reading the unredacted version. I can say that that conclusion, I am fully convinced that that is absolutely true. Are you comfortable uh, knowing what you know? I, I'll give you this. Well, oh, okay. Yes, okay. yeah, taking your family to Quebec City over Christmas and, and billing taxpayers seventeen thousand dollars for that trip. Uh, oh. All MPs have to follow very strict rules in submitting their expenses to the House of Commons. Uh, those, those, I expect all my MPs and all MPs in the House to follow those rules and submit claims. Those claims were submitted and approved. Why are you comfortable? Sorry, I let, I let you go, so it's my turn. Are you comfortable sitting in the House knowing what you know, and is there a list of MPs in the unredacted report? Well, the, the redacted version also suggests there's MPs, so that's publicly available, and that's confirmed by the unredacted version. So certainly there, it is clear that there are MPs, plural, that was available publicly, and that's confirmed in the unredacted version as well. So it is very serious, and this matter is not in any way addressed. And that's why I said I'm not relieved at all. Uh, nor, in fact, I am more disturbed today than I am yesterday. I'm more disturbed by what I've learned, and it really does highlight to me the the failure of leadership of both Justin Trudeau and Pierre Polyev. Deeply concerning failures of the leadership. Like I don't understand, after having read that report, why Justin Trudeau didn't act sooner and doesn't continues to to show inaction and why Pierre Polyev, as, mm. as I am, a prospective candidate to become prime minister of this country, why he expects that people should have trust in him when he doesn't want to know about very disturbing allegations directly connected to his party, that India, among other countries, were involved in foreign interference in leadership races. The fact that he doesn't want to know and has been silent I believe very firmly disqualifies him as a prospective leader of this country. Disqualifies him entirely. Okay, and then they go into some French questions, and I don't speak French, so we'll just stop it there. But, I mean, first of all, Pierre Polyev doesn't want to read this because he can't leak any of the information. Okay, if he could actually do something about the information that he received, if there was one of the conservatives uh, who was an who was you know, named as one of these 11 MPs who have essentially committed treason, why would you want to know if you can't do something about it? He'll read it when he can do something about it. I mean, I mean let's let's be honest with you here, that there's nothing, you know, like, like right now, like you saw, like, you know, when Singh was asked, you know, is there a list of MPs? He's like, well, I can't really say them. Yeah, exactly. Can't say which party they're from. You can't say who they are. You can't punish them. Because these documents are not released to the public. So, I mean, like, good for you, Singh. You've read it. But, I mean, that, that doesn't make you a, a better leader or a better man. That's uh, that's for sure. Uh, and then you notice how he dodges the question of how he spent $17,000 last Christmas on expenses, taxpayer money. And he just goes on to say, well, you know, well, we... Uh, it's a very strict process, and we have to get it approved. You know, why did you spend so much of our fucking money, you socialist? That was the question. I'm just dodging it like usual. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. And the, you know, the last point I want to make here is, I did a video a couple days ago about Elizabeth May reacting to this report. And she came out and was like, ah, hey, listen, I'm not worried at all. I'm very comfortable after reading this. And here Jagmeet Singh comes out and says, well, I'm actually more disturbed than I was yesterday after reading it. Why the discrepancy? Why is one leader very confident and not worried at all, and the other one's, like, disturbed? That doesn't make any sense. 
Were they reading different reports? Did, did Elizabeth May miss something? Did she skip a page or two? Like, like what happened with that? That doesn't even make any sense. And, you know, again, guys, it's a lot of Canadians are frustrated. We want information. We want to know, you know, exactly who is guilty of treason. And then we want them tried and potentially thrown in jail if found guilty. Like, uh, you know, saying, well, oh, maybe we'll fire these people. No, no, no. Treason is jail. It used to be a lot worse, by the way. Okay. It wasn't, uh, it, Let's just, I don't want to get into specifics, but it, it was a lot worse than jail. And that's what should happen to any leader of our, of our country who commits treason and gets caught. End of story. I don't care whether they're conservative, NDP, Green, Liberal, Bloc, PPC, whatever party. An independent, any of them. Should all be tried and then and convicted, tried, and then thrown in jail and found guilty. No exceptions. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, and please don't forget to turn on the notification bell, like, and subscribe. It really helps grow this channel. And I'll talk to you guys later.